Carlos, you lived that in your baseball career. What's this world like? Oh, it's extremely exciting. You know that if you perform, you will get the call. We've got a developing story here. JP, what are you hearing? I'm checking the numbers. I'm talking to my sources and my scouts, and they're all telling me, hey, this could actually work. Most of us mere mortals, when we were that age, we were barely chewing gum and walking at the same time, let alone playing the hardest game there is. Let's see if he's pumping up mentally here to adapt. That's what good players do. That dream of getting the big leagues is now becoming reality with that one phone call. Continuing our MLB Draft Day 2 wrap-up. Hey, a minor league manager checks in with one of his players to discuss a launch plan for the young man's development. Rolling along with the podcast and back on the prospect who's divided the scouting community, I am opposed to this belief that he went too high. I really think he could be a steal here. This is a guy who's got so much development left to do. He's got so much potential. And I think all the scouts who are down on him think, oh, he's not a finished product. We don't know what he is. That, to me, could be a good thing. He can hit. He can field. He can pitch. There is so much untapped potential so far for this guy. I'm excited to see what he becomes. And certainly as he gets started actually playing, actually being in games, we're going to be able to talk to some other folks who get a better read on him and see what they think. I'm excited for that. And frankly, I'm going to have my eye on him for a while. League Baseball is live and on the air. Trevor McGill gets it. Now with the plate is Brennan Davis. He'll lead things off here in the bottom Moving half of the first. The Smokey, the left fielder. Pitch on the way. Line hard, deep into left. Mesa is there and he'll bring this one in. With a moment now, let's have a look at the home team starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? You know, Matty, I took a look at this lineup today and getting a chance to talk to some of the guys around the cage. One thing that they preached to me was the fact that they were dead last in the league in grounding into double plays and well aware of the fact that they don't shoot themselves in the foot. They give themselves a chance when they're putting guys on base to drive in runs and not get that two-for-one sale. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. One down here, fellas. And another foul ball. The 
the next 0 2. Swing and a blooper down the right field line. Base hit, and that's their first of the new campaign. Hey, the leadoff man wasn't able to do his job, but the number two hitter came through right there with the single, setting the table for the big boys. That is good. Into the box now, Claude Wilds, and he fouls this one off. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Takes strike two. Morrell, base runner at first with one out. Now a ball lying toward the alley in left center. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. This guy just feasts on mistakes up in the zone, and, and that's exactly what he gets right here. A belt high pitch, he drives into the alley. Great chance now with two runners in scoring position. As he lifts it in the air to right field. Lucas has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ball game. Next to hit is Alfonso Rivas. Runner in scoring position with two guys. That's a strike to throw down. And he will be nailed at third on a questionable decision to say the least in the last half of the second set to go. And next to battle be the first baseman, Alfonso Rivas. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Here's one that misses high. It's one and one. Here we go, fellas. Let's go. Now here's the pitch. Yeah. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control. One and, one and two. One and two. That's lifted the other way out to left. Me, me, me. Mesa has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So next to bat will be Connor Myers. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. And the pitch. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. And as he punches him out there, he collects his first double-A strikeout. Well, I'm sure that feels good, and maybe he'll keep the ball or something, but you know his sights are set on a lot higher than double-A ball. Figuring out how to strike out a lot more guys at this level as he progresses in the minors will be one of the keys for him reaching the big leagues. That is the the right right plate now, Eddie Martinez. Eddie. As he'll swing and miss at a first pitch slider at strike one. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. He was finally able to lay off one there. He swung it two out of the zone before that, so clearly he wasn't picking up the ball very well. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Count to three and one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. Now the three and two pitch. Too high, and that cost four. him ball four. Wow, I'm not sure what they were afraid of in this at bat. The count moved to three and two, and they didn't even challenge him there. I can understand being careful with some hitters, but not that guy. He'll happily take the walk. Runner back safely. From the stretch. As the first pitch to him is swung oh on and missed for strike one. Aye. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. 
Martinez leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Christian Donahue. The second baseman, Christian. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. A ball and no strikes. Swing and a liner. And that finds the outfield grass for a base hit. He'll get it into second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Man, that's got to sting for the pitcher and his teammates. They just get on the board and are feeling good about themselves. Looking for a Don't shutdown inning so they can get some more runs on the board. But instead, this guy blasts a leadoff double. Getting that shutdown inning is going to be a lot tougher now. 2-0 oh now. This pitch is popped up. Got room, got room, got room. And the ball is dropped. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving oh, chase. Oh, oh. He makes the catch. And tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. Now to the plate, here is Christopher Morrell trying to bring in the tying run from third here. And here's a slider that's nowhere close, and it's 1-0. and Swung on and missed, 1-1. One and one. One and one. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad hack barrel accuracy. Swing and a liner. And the tying run is in to score from third. Stepping in now, quad quiet. This will take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. One, no. one in, one out, and one on here in the inning. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this will land untouched. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. Ready to deliver the one and two. This is skied into short left center. Me, 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 Tomorrow. me. Comes on now and makes the, the runner, catch in right shallow right center there. for out number two. Digging in, the switch hitter, Taylor Gushu, picked up an RBI the on the sack fly in his first Taylor. appearance. Yes, he pops the first pitch foul behind the plate. Off the oh, outside that out. time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Morrell, the runner at first with two gone. And it's one and two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there. Stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball. And now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Mesa gets under it and makes the catch to end the inning. So now into the box is Alfonso Rivas. He'll lead things off here in this one-run contest. The breaking ball called just a bit low. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball, one and one. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late now action that, that just that darts at the last it. minute. They're so tough to get the bat on. And when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Connor Myers is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's one and one. Great job of doubling up with the fastball inside. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher go in there, but they won't go back in there a second time. This guy's not afraid to pitch inside. One and two. Here it comes. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Fast 
fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. That was a good job tying him up inside on that strikeout pitch. It wasn't even in the strike zone, but with the hitter protecting with two strikes, that's the kind of pitch you can get him to offer at. And he's probably not going to do much with it when he does make contact. In for a strike, it's one and one. Fouled away. Ready to deliver the one and two. <laughs> Fly ball right down the line and left. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. Digging in will be Aramis Ademar, grounded out in his That's last at bat. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Swing and a ball hard hit toward deep right. Lucas is there and he makes the catch for the out. Next to dig in, Christian Donahue. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. The fastball oh, here is he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Ball two. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's two and oh. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to fix around this guy a little bit. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. And this will be taken in out there just a few steps in front of the track, and there are two away now. Now back to the top of the lineup, now stepping in, Brennan Davis. No hits in right two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. Fifth inning of play here in a 3-2 ballgame. That's a ball. And he takes this one high, one and one. one. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. <laughs> Hangs on him a bit that time as it's belted out toward deep center field. And he gets there, makes the running play, and that ends the inning. Nothing across here this half. And now in the box, Christopher Morrell. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Breaking ball that drops in for a strike. Uh, you could tell this guy's got great feel for all this stuff right now. To break out that nasty hammer right there, this guy's on point. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball that's out. Squeeze on it for route number one. Next, it'll be Claude Wilds. One now for two it. with a double Good on the ledger so far. First pitch on the way. Hey. 
Street. And this pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Okay, here we go, guys. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first came up, a lot of guys working at Greg Maddox east to west. Behind 0-2 now. 3 twos our score here in inning number six. Nope. And he missed Ball with one. it. It's one and two. High they fastball right there with a two-strike count. You know what that might be doing? Setting up the next pitch could be that hard slider down and away. Something breaking down and away the off ball. the plate. Misses. Ball two. And this will miss down three, low in the dirt, so he's working full now at three and two. Wow, from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, and that last pitch on 2 and 2 up, wasn't up, even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. Payoff pitch one more time. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, no keep that guy off the, the base path. Taylor Gushu is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. It's a swing and a high pop up. Padlo moving to his left, but it's the pitcher that makes the play. And that ends the inning. Joe Ryan will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 67. And a nice job here to come in and slam the door. That's his first save of the season, but it certainly won't be his last. Three to two, the finish in tonight's game. Montgomery took the lead in the fourth and held on until the... A minor league pitching coach offers advice to a new member of his staff.
Welcome to MLB The Show and this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight, the second of three to start the week between the Montgomery Biscuits and the Tennessee Smokies. It's baseball. It's the show. Yeah, and yeah. it comes... Tyson Miller will be on the bump for game two of the series. Next, here is number 24. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Here's the pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Guys, we take a look at the home nine as they take the field tonight. They didn't get it done here in front of a big opening day crowd, but they'll look to get back on track here. Yeah, Maddie. I know it's not do or die. It's only game two of the season. But you never want to drop the home opener. And you certainly don't want to find yourselves 0-2 when you leave the ballpark today. Hey, if you're going to get a swing on a pitch that hey, far in no, off the plate, pretty much options are wide open. Plays Whoa. off the slider that time, 2-1. and one. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2-1 pitch. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Long run for the center fielder. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, number 24. He's 0 for 1 thus far. First offering on its way. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. Ball, he's got no. fastball command and a nice Play early feel for his off-speed stuff. Trolley, huh? One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Donahue has got it, and the side is retired. Next up, number 24. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Fly ball out toward left center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Lucas blows through the stop sign, headed for home. Safe at the plate as they move on top four to nothing. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll help to settle his guy down. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Taylor Walls. One for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. Pitch taken for ball four. And he nails him at third. Great throw. So now to the plate, number 24. He's working on a one for three thus far. And the runner back safely. but he's back in. Now the first pitch. Pitch out. Whoa. Nothing doing. 1-0. Lucas stands at first with one out. into the corner and slicing foul. They need you now, your turn. Swing and a miss as he pulled the string on him, one and two. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Wow, a nine-out save. That's three full innings. 
you don't see that very often these days. It's awfully nice to have a guy in the back end of your bullpen that can pitch that kind of work. A 5-0 finish tonight. The Montgomery Biscuits used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Luis Patino earns his first win of the season. Tyson Miller was only able to work four Here innings as he takes the loss. Score. Shane Bonds the takes the Montgomery rare three-inning save, his first Eight of the year. No so error. that's They're a wrap the here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been smoking. watching MLB no The Show. Four For hit. more, find us no on error. Twitter, they at MLB The Show. Time of the ball game: two hours and 53 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. The team's future stars are on. Keegan Thompson, a right-hander from Alabama, gets the starting assignment. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, Matt, you hate to go into game thinking that you're going to have to get the bullpen that involved, but you may but have to with this guy on the mound. He's not known for going very deep in the games. Very rarely right, does he go six innings or more, so this very well could... Get halfway. Takes a big Keep swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. Stand and up right here. Stand up. he's going to make the catch on the warning track. Fine running play there for the first out. Good read there at second base to know he could make it to third on the flyout. Now he's only 90 feet away with one out. Next to hit, Brennan Davis. Two hits that and eight seven. tries for the series. The center fielder. Right Here comes the 0-1. Oh, it's hit to third. Two, two, Five. Two. To second for one. On to first, out. and they turn the double play. Stepping up is Guillermo Ortega. Here comes the one-two. Guillermo. A swing and a ground ball to third. And the throw won't be in time as he'll be able to beat out the recovery throw at first. Now at the plate, here is number 24. Both for one for him here in this one. And now the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. One strike. It's good right now. And it's safe to say he doesn't look oh, all two. that comfortable up there. 0 oh, and 2 now. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout. This guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one-two. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was laid on that heater is he was expecting another change. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. That's just quality pitching right there for that strike. At the plate now is number 24. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. And a slider that time as this ball's hammered to deep left field. And that is the definition of a mistake pitch there as this ball is gone. A home run. And a big moment for him there. His first home run as a double-A player. Yeah, and you always like to get those first out of the way, no matter what level you're playing at. Obviously, he's got aspirations to play in the big leagues, and this is exactly the kind of production that this organization is going to be looking for from him as his career progresses. Number 24 will stride in one more time as we flash you back to earlier. This was a big blow right here as he leaves the yard with plenty to spare. And obviously looking for the ground ball here as this misses low. It's 1-0. and all. Hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. Puts everybody ball. on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. To the left side, but it's well fouled. 
He wants oh, that changeup back that right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Now the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And he will beat the throw home. It's a 4 to 1 score now. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Taylor Walls. It was a base hit last time up. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Fly ball out toward left center field. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And they'll add one more to the lead. It's now a 5 to 1 ball game. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with a sack fly. So here is Jim Haley. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach. A swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. So they pick up three runs on three hits. No error. Now to the plate, number 24. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. First pitch on its way. Good curveball there. Gets the swing and miss. Falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Ball. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 and 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. 5 1 our score as we play the eighth. Breaking ball, and he gets him to chase it in the dirt. Payne has it, and the throw is made to record the second out of the inning. 5-2 of the final score tonight. The Biscuits used a nice fifth inning to take the lead.